In this video, we will solve the problem number 7.23 from the chapter number 7. The problem is list the PLA programming table for the BCD to access tree code converter whose boolean functions are simplified in figure 4.3. So this figure is from fourth chapter and third figure. And we have to derive the programming table. Programming table for what? For the PLA, programmable logic array device. Now we have to see the figure 4.3 in which the boolean expressions for the BCD to access to code converter are simplified. Here I have shown the figure 4.3. So this is figure 4.3 from the chapter number 4. You can also find from the book. Okay, here we have obtained output expression W, X, Y and Z. Okay, so these are the minimized output expressions. So this is the expression for W. So here we have W is A plus BC plus BD. So here we have written A plus BC plus BD. Therefore W bar, what will be the value? It will be A bar B bar plus A bar C bar D bar. So I have already shown how to find out the complement. Just you put whole complement and then you find out this expression. X expression is B bar C plus B bar D plus B C bar D bar. Here I have written B bar C plus B bar D plus B C bar D bar. So if I take the complement, we will get the value of X bar is B bar C bar D bar plus B C plus B D. Similarly, this is the minimized expression C D plus C bar D bar. C D plus C bar D bar, this is actually X nor operation between C and D. If we take the complement of Y, we will get the X or operation that is C bar D plus C D bar. Similarly, we have Z expression is D bar. So here I have written it is Z bar is D. We have to remove this complement. Now we have to make the PLA programming table. Therefore, I have written here the programming table. Here we will write down the, all the product terms. Here we will write the product term numbers. We have inputs here A, B, C and D. I am denoting it with F1, F2, F3 and F4 because we have considered here true value, here complemented value, again true value for F3 and true value for F4. So for the minimized programming table, we have to see the expression. In W, we have A plus BC plus BD. This mean terms A plus BC plus BD. So these three mean terms now we will see in the other expressions. This BC plus BD we can find here. So this BC plus BD we have here. So what we will do, instead of considering this X output, we will consider this X bar output or the complemented value of X that will be represented by F2. Next we have CD plus C bar D bar and further we cannot minimize. Only we can use this BC plus BD expression from this X bar or complemented value of X to minimize the expressions. So now let us make the programming table. So in the programming table the terms will be A, B, C, B, D. So right here A, B, C, B, D. Okay. Next what we have? To consider this one b bar c bar d bar okay because we have considered this b c d and b d so next we consider b bar c bar d bar b bar c bar d bar next we have this y y expression we will consider this one okay so this y expression is c d plus c bar d bar so we have two product terms c d and c bar d bar now let us see the expression of z so z is d bar so we have to consider this d bar term so here we will write d bar now let us number this product term so this one is 1 2 3 4 5 okay then we have this one sixth term and seventh term now we will find out the input values so we have to find out this input values here considering this product term so here we have a a means here we put one because a is not complemented and all the other input variables are absent so here we'll put dash similarly we have bc so this is dash one one dash so then we have bd so dash one dash one bd okay next we have b bar c bar d bar so a is not present so a is this then b bar is zero because we have complemented value c bar is also zero 
okay and d bar is also complemented therefore zero here now let us see this cd cd means this third and the fourth input variable so therefore dash dash one one then we have c bar d bar dash dash zero zero because this c and d are the complemented value now and then we have d bar d bar is dash 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 zero okay so we have got all the input variables here in this table now we have to find out the output expressions f1 is nothing but w okay so we have to see this expression now so w is a plus bc plus bd so whichever term is there we have to put there one okay and all the other terms will be dash a plus bc plus bd we have one 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 then we have dash 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 that means means these four terms are absent so here we have put here dash next we have f2 f2 we have to see the complemented value we, i have written here c so f2 we have to consider now the complemented value of x so we have to consider this value so here we have bc bd and b bar c bar d bar bc this one is bc bd and b bar c bar d bar so here we will put one and all the remaining terms will be dash similarly we have to see the true value of y y is f3 okay cd plus c bar d bar so cd plus c bar d bar here we have cd cd value is 1 and c bar d bar is 1 and all the remaining values will be dash okay now we have to see the f4 value f4 true value so f4 is this one z z is d bar so we have to put 1 in the d bar product term so here we have to put 1 and dash 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 okay and here also dash and dash so this is the programming table considering the simplified terms from table 4.3 so this is the programming table of the pla programmable logic array thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you